Power crews were scrambling to get the lights back on in several local communities today. Last night, storms knocked up power all over. Chris Hoffman's live with how the repairs are going. Chris. Good evening. Yeah, and for some areas, they were even underwater. Fourth Avenue here in Coriopolis looked more like a canal yesterday, and it's one of the main roads going in and out. Today, it's much less debris, muck, and some mud for people in the area. They say they've seen rain before, but for the road to turn to a river, well, that's a new one. Halloween became more about the tricks and less about the treats in Coriopolis Thursday night. It rained at monsoon. From this viewer video sent to us, you would not know if that was the road or the nearby Ohio River. You can see several inches of the brown, muddy water filling up 4th Avenue, one of the main thoroughfares in town, which presented a challenge for people driving around. Going home, it was up on both sides of my truck. I was in, I have a four-wheel drive truck, and it was, I was in fear of it stalling in the water. Ken Augustine was helping to clean and fix some of the places impacted by the flood damage. He says he's never seen the area flood quite like this. And according to him, this all happened within about 15 to 20 minutes. But what's left behind has and will continue to take much longer to clean up. When they say flash flood, it was a flash flood. Now, one day later, the mud and muck is still lining the shoulder of the road and sidewalks. This is actually spotless compared to what it was. I mean, the mud was probably three, four inches thick. But it is a significant improvement after Mother Nature dumped inches of rain on the western suburb. According to Coriopolis Police, no one had to be rescued and there were no reports of any injuries because of the storm. Now, several people are also still without power as the cleanup continues here in Coriopolis. At last check, that number was around 357 Duquesne like customers. Now, that's around Allegheny Beaver. County around 357. According to Duquesne Light, they are expected to get that power within the next hour. So hopefully at six, we'll have that number closer to zero. You will also hear at six from some of the neighboring communities that also dealt with this tricky weather. We're live in Coriopolis this evening. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.